who is actually experiencing the benefits of our economic recovery. The sad reality is that millions of Americans have not had a pay increase in years. Many who lost jobs went back to work at substantially lower paying jobs. And many have given up exiting the workforce altogether. Meanwhile, if you're in the stock market, until last week anyway, your bank account bulged as a result of corporate profits averaging 20%. What will it take and what will you do to ensure that a continued recovery is better shared by all Americans instead of just those at the top? <clears throat> Congressman Ryan, your views. 100%, 100% agree with that. The, the answer to your question is who is benefiting from this economy are the people at the very top, which is Wall Street. Why is that? Guess what? We're practicing trickle-down economics right now. The economics of this administration, more regulations that cost jobs and strangle small businesses, higher tax rates that put our small business manufacturers at a competitive disadvantage from our foreign competitors, and the Federal Reserve pumping trillions of dollars into the stock market to create what they call a wealth effect, is giving people with lots of money more money, but that growth is not translating down to the middle class. It's not lifting people out of poverty when we have among the highest poverty rates in a generation. This is what we're practicing right now. These are the products of these economic policies that the president and his administration has put into place. More regulations, higher taxes, loose money from the Federal Reserve to pump up the stock market. We should go in the opposite direction. Let's have regulations that make sense, that are predictable. Remove the big word that I hear around this district from all the employers and the people who want to be employ people, uncertainty. The biggest uncertainty they get right now is coming from the government. Let's have a tax code that is fair and simple and stops picking winners and losers and lowers tax rates on all of our producers, all of our job creators, so that they can be competitive in the global economy. Let's balance the budget and pay off the debt so we don't have an interest rate and inflation problem later on. Let's streamline our regulations so that businesses can hire people, so that people can get more take-home pay. Real median income is down 8% in this country since the recession. We should be springing out of this recession this is the worst economic recovery since World War II. And I would argue the reason is because of government. So number one, don't do what we're doing now. Go in a different direction. 381 bills we passed out of the House of Representatives dealing with all of these issues, sitting in the Senate, going nowhere. We want to break that logjam, put these bills on the president's desk, and make a difference.